pretty right to put the ring compressor on, compress the rings, and then fit the pistons to the cylinders. Don't be scared to put plenty all around the place. Get them like that, lift them up, turn them around. And we don't want to really forget about our gadget pin while we're here. So we put a little bit of oil in there. It's a floating pin. Floating pin means the gadget pin can turn in the piston and it can also turn on the conrod. This cross is the floating pin. This one's just got like wire circ clips on either side. Start off with our expander. Gap is about there. First uh, First scrape is here, second scraper gap is here. Move around the other side, put our second compression ring around about there, top compression ring about there, so the rings are pretty well all staggered. Put a bit of oil on our bearing. Now, I'll actually put some lube on there. If we want to be fancy, we can use that for years or, for years or just use oil. Oil work quite okay. Put that on there, smear this around. Um, you can even put a bit on the threads if you want, make sure you're going to get the right the right crush on the on the bolts. Dot we put that on there, that means that that's number one for number one cylinder. Number one cylinder is always usually where the water pump is. Number one is going to go to the right hand side of the engine. Clean hands and oil the ball. I can put my hands down at the ball. Plenty of oil down there, a bit up around on the chamfer. Right over, we've got that done, and we come over here. Ring compressor. Plenty of oil on it, plug everything slide around nicely. This one's a type that has a, um, has a clutch on it. I have used the ratchet types before. Clutch part is right here. And that, we've got plenty of oil on everything. Uh, the ratchet types, they were thinner, this one seems to be thicker. And we just have that sitting on there. It's possibly a little bit harder to work, a little bit harder to hang on to it. Tighten it up. It's starting to run off a bit. We don't need to go extremely tight, but we've got to be firm. And we've got to try and we tap this back level. We've got our protectors to protect we're not going to ding up the journal on the crank. So we'll put them on there like so. Just bits of plastic pipe. Have them aimed out like that so, so we're not going to damage the crankshaft. Our dot which signifies number one goes to the right hand side. Put that down there. Facing the right way. There's a couple of ways we can do this. Uh, we hold pressure down on the hammer handle at all times. We'll tap this here to make sure that is sitting dead level on the top of the block. Crank shaft set right. Check that again. There we go. Put it in. Check that over to these so it can't fall down. Piston going down, pistons touch bottom. That's it, the piston's in. We turn our motor again. Like so. We can see we've got the, the bottom end here with the plastics. And we've just got to get our cap. Come over here somewhere. There we are. Put the cap. A bit more assembly, more assembly lube on the cap. Starting to dribble out. Put that under there like so. Check our ends are still right. 
we've got to check our ends in here are still right as well. What we normally do is get a, a good screwdriver, just come over in here and I just have a feel. I could possibly go back a little bit there. Just the slightest little bit. Maybe a whisk and more back. A screwdriver like that, give it a slightest little tap. That made the difference. Yep, let's check the piston is right here in the bottom again. Get the cap, and number one on our cap is there. Little number one that's going to the right hand side. And we can see that number one on there. So that's going to go on like so. The next little trick is to put a bit of oil on the big end bolts. And that way, and a little bit on the surface where the nut is going to going to push on the cap. And that way when you tension them up you know you're getting the right crush on the cap and the, and the bearing because everything's oiled up. There shouldn't be too much, what would you say, sideways friction on the stud. So instead of it being tight to turn on the thread, it's going to be easy to turn on the thread which means you're going to get the full, the full um, crush on the bearing. So that's, that's the procedure. And what we do now is we get a tension wrench, work out how many foot pounds or how many newton metres of torque, and uh, work our way through two, three, and four, and tension everything up. Then probably our next stage will probably be maybe put the sump back on, um, then probably work out whether we're going to do the rear main next after that, or uh, maybe do some work on the cylinder head. Put some new valve guides on, new valve stem seals on the on the cylinder head. Um, we'll just work our way through. Uh, thanks for watching.